everyone welcome back to my channel and today we're going to create some easy gorgeous labels using canva and by the end of this video you'll be addicted to creating more and more lots of people love it when things have structure and order and when everything has a home and is easy to find especially when you can add your own personal touch whether it be in your business or home if you like organizing things by category then you better get excited so what kind of labels can you create in canva you can do address labels, home office labels for magazine holders, boxes or for your files, and labels for your pantry, spice cabinet, kids room, wrapping station goodies, and so much more. So once you start creating your own labels, you'll be hooked and have created this short tutorial and bonus template for you to use for your own home and office projects. Enjoy and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos just like this. Now prepare to get to work! Now go to Canva and click on create a design and choose US letter document. You want to create a Canva design with the same dimensions as your sticker paper or whatever paper you want to print this on. For this tutorial, we'll do the letter size which is 8.5 by 11 inches. Now just go to elements and use the search box to type in words that will help you find your ideal label. It's good to know what label you are trying to create before hopping into Canva. For example, are you creating labels for your pantry, stationery, or the kids' crafts? You can also search for circles, rectangles, and labels. And here's a tip. Search for border versus label. The border options have more free options and often have the same or similar designs. And make sure you're selecting the free ones if you're not a pro Canva user. And now it's time to personalize your labels. Just create different pages for different label solutions and you can try borders like this one. You can also change the color for this and make sure that you have spaces in between the stickers so that it doesn't uh, bother you with the cutting and all of that stuff. And if you don't want to cut things like this, just use the rectangle or the square stickers or the shapes or just even the circles because this one's with the curly brackets and all of that stuff. It's sometimes it's time consuming and there's a lot of elements here that you can choose from canva has a lot of it and just make sure that it's free so with this one you can choose a circle and then just change the color if you want or if you want if you if you're doing this for your brand um, use your brand colors if you're doing this for your house any color that you like would do Just change whatever title or put whatever title you like and then resize and center it on top of the label and you can also change the color and font on this one. resize it and you, if you have your own fonts and if you're a con, uh, pro canva user you can always um, upload your fonts over here Let's center everything and you can also put these stickers or label stickers on your canisters or the jars that you have in your kitchen
So when you're satisfied with your design, whatever design you're creating, you can populate the entire row. And uh, here's two ways to do this. You can highlight everything and you can click duplicate or just hold the Alt key and then drag it to, whether, to wherever you want. And I like the dragging part because I can have the exact spaces in between them. So make sure you have enough space between each label so it's easy to cut later. So either you can populate the entire page with the same design or you can also create new designs. You can even use gradient if you want. You can also um, insert icons or graphics or other photos, even images that you want. Just head over just head over to elements and then for example if you want flowers you can search for flowers you want hearts you can search for hearts and you can duplicate this again and again and change the labels and once you're done just download your templates as PDF to print and do a test print first to see if the size of your labels are correct. Lastly, make sure you're printing them on the right side of your project paper. Uh, dr just draw next with a pencil on a piece of paper and then print it out. And then print your design to see which side of your project paper needs to face up. And there you have it, gorgeous, personalized, and frugal labels to organize your home and life in just a few minutes. Few tips for you. Do a test print first to make sure you get the right size before printing it directly on your sticker paper. And leave enough space in between labels so it's easy to cut. And if you don't love cutting, then make sure you only stick to simple labels like squares and circles, not those with a lot of curves. Make sure you're dividing your labels into categories so know beforehand if you're creating labels for your pantry, for your school, for address, or your filing system. I hope this is a handy DIY project for you and if you like a copy of the labels I've created, instruction is in the description. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!